Welcome back to the channel, my name is Cody, and in this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off last time in developing our Shopify store. Today, we're gonna be adding policy pages to our store, integrating some shipping rates, along with doing a few additional design elements to our homepage. In the last video, we began developing a brand new Shopify store completely from scratch, laying out many of the elements for the homepage. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out that video first linked right up there, but let's dive right in. So now that we have our homepage laid out and designed exactly as we like, the first thing I wanna do is add some policy policies to this menu section. This will be our terms of service, our refund policy, and our privacy policy. So let's go ahead and exit out of the customization page and click on settings. From here, we can scroll down and click on policies. And if we scroll down a little further, we will see an area for our refund policy, our privacy policy, our terms of service, our shipping policy, and some contact information. And to make this even easier, Shopify has these awesome templates that we can use with a little bit of information that we're just gonna need to go in and edit along the way. So once you click create from template, we're just gonna wanna go in and change all of these email addresses to our new domain email address, which is gonna be for me, contact at thrivehealth.store. And then there's gonna be a bunch of these areas where they're gonna want us to put in our address or change some specific information. Like for example, if we create from template for the privacy policy, you'll see all of this highlighted information information such as the date and these note to merchants that we're just going to want to go ahead and edit and put in any information that we may need. Okay, so I've just gone through and edited all the information that we need under our refund policy, privacy policy, and our terms of service. So let's click save to save all of our changes. Under sales channels, if we click on navigation, under menus, click on the footer menu, and then we can add all of our new menu items right here. So first we can add our privacy policy. We will then add our refund policy, click add. And lastly, we will add our terms of service. And to clean this up, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this search option. Again, this is for the footers menu on our homepage and I think this will just clean it up a little bit. And from here, we can go ahead and save our menu. Now we're gonna wanna go ahead and add some individual pages to our store, but before we do that, let's go ahead and add an example product first. So if we click on products, we can go ahead and click add product. And then in its name, I'm just gonna call it example product. We don't need to worry about editing this yet. We'll do this when we develop our product page. So let's make sure the status is active and go ahead and click save. Now that we have an active product on our store, we can go back down to our online store and click on pages. And let's start by editing this contact page. As part of the contact page, there will be a form. So I've just added this text, fill out the form below and we'll get back to you or email us at contact at thrivehealth.shop. Now on our contact page, there is gonna be a form for them to fill out, which will automatically get sent to our email. And it's just a nice little bit of text with our email in there as well, if they wanna contact us directly. So let's go ahead and click save here. And let's go back to our pages to add a new page. So the next one I wanna add is a track your order page. So let's go add pages and call it track your order. Now, while we aren't gonna have the greatest options to track our order for free off the bat, there is this really great site called www.17track.net. While this website isn't the most professional looking, as soon as we place the order with AliExpress for a product that we're drop shipping and purchasing through them, and they give us our shipping code, we're gonna be able to enter it here and get shipping updates immediately. So this isn't the cleanest, best option to track your order, but it's an easy free option and a great place to start when building your site. I'm just gonna add a little bit of text to clean this up. And there we go, see where your package currently is using the link below. So let's go ahead and save this and add one more page, which is our policies page. So if we go back to pages, we're gonna go ahead and click add page and we will title this one policies. Now here we are gonna wanna hyperlink our policies and we're actually need to go to our online store to do this. So if we click this little eye icon right here, we'll be able to view our online store and get the direct link to our policies. And if you remember, we added them to the menu of our footer, so they are gonna be right down here. So all we're gonna have to do is right click and copy link address and we will get the link for each of these. So if we copy the terms of service and then go back over to our policies page, we can hyperlink the terms of service, click the three dots right here and go ahead insert link. We can paste our link right here and we will just call this terms of service. And just like that, we have our terms of service. Let's go ahead and continue this with the next ones. If we head back to our website, we can right click and copy the link address to our refund policy, go back and paste it in here, select it all, hyperlink it once again, paste the link in and call it our refund policy. And we'll do that just one more time with our privacy policy.
And just like that, we have a policies page. So let's go ahead and save that. And from here, we're gonna wanna go back under navigation so that we can edit our main menu. This is gonna be the main menu at the very top of our website up here where we currently have home, catalog, and contact. So let's go ahead under navigation and click on main menu to edit these items. The first thing that I'm gonna do is delete our catalog because again, we don't have a full catalog and we're just gonna go ahead and add a single product. So if we go under our products, we will now have our example product. And since we only have the one product, I'm just gonna change this to shop now and go ahead and click add. And now we'll have a shop now button, which will take our customers directly to our product page once we add our product there and replace our example product. From here, we can continue to add the pages that we just created. So let's start with our track your order page. So if we go down to pages, we can click on track your order and go ahead and add that page. And then we can add one more menu item, which will be our policies page. So if we go to pages again, make sure you're not policies. If we go to policies, that'll just be the individual policies. policies. We want the page that we just created, which is our entire policies page. So let's go ahead and add that one. Now you can order these however you like. I'm just gonna move track your order up above contact and move policies down to the very bottom and go ahead and save that menu. Now, if we check back on our website and hit refresh really quick, we'll see that all of our new menu items like our track your order policies and our shop now page have all been added to the menu of our main website. But the backend work is not done. So let's go ahead and add some shipping to our website. By taking care of our shipping right now, this is gonna give us more time and energy when we come back to edit our product page. So let's head back to our Shopify dashboard where we can go down to settings, click on shipping and delivery. So we have no shipping set up so far. So let's go ahead and click under general shipping rates. And here we'll be able to add rates to our stores. So let's start by creating our first shipping zone. Now this is going to be individual countries or countries that you select together. So the way that I'm going to start this as I'm primarily planning on targeting a US demographic. So I'm going to set up the United States and then the rest of the world. So this first one I'm going to call United States. And I'll, all that I'm gonna add to it is the US. Let's go ahead and click the US and click done. Now from here, we're gonna have to add a rate. So let's go ahead and click add rate. Now, if you wanna offer free shipping, that is okay, but I'm gonna choose not to. This is gonna be a great way for me to upsell the product a little bit and increase my margin. So we're gonna wanna use a flat rate and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a custom shipping rate option, which gives me the option to choose my own name. And I'm gonna go with US Express shipping. Now I am also going to add the estimated delivery time. One thing if you're shipping products using AliExpress and they're coming from China or have a little bit longer shipping times is you want to make sure that your customers know what they're getting into. The product that I've selected, it says it takes about five business days. So I'm just going to put in five to 10 business days. This way our customers aren't in for any surprises and they know exactly what they're getting into. Now let's go ahead and add a shipping price. I'm just going to put in $2.99 to start. Of course, you can always come back and change these rates anytime you need. If the profit margin isn't quite right or rates end up changing as you go. So let's go ahead and click done. And just like that, we have the United States in here, but as you'll see, we are still not covering a ton of zones. So let's go ahead and create another zone, which we will call rest of world. Now for this one, we can just click international and it should select every single country and territory for us. And if we scroll down, we see we've only missed one zone, which is Canada. So let me go back in here to edit the zone and make sure that we add Canada to this one as well so that nobody's missing out. And there we go, not covered by shipping zones, zero countries. So that means we got every country covered. So let's go ahead and add a rate for the rest of the world and name this worldwide shipping. And again, we wanna put in an estimated delivery time. I'm gonna bump this one up by a few days. So we're gonna put in seven to 13 business days. And for the price, I'm just gonna make this one $2 more expensive. Again, feel free to adjust based on your product and based on your needs. And just like that, our store is ready to start shipping our product as soon as an order arrives. So let's go take one last look at our homepage and see if there's any other things that we need to do. So looking at our homepage, there are two things that I think we should do to just finish this up. One, I don't love the way that this Thrive looks. This text is not very good, so we should probably design a little bit of a logo for that. You can just go with the text design, but I don't think this is the one for me. And also, we're going to want to add a favicon to our store. This is the little logo that shows up at the top of your tab. And right now we just have the little world. So let's go ahead and add a little something cute up there, something based off the logo, just to help make our store pop and make it look a little bit more legit. Okay. So I just took a minute in Photoshop to come up with a little bit of a text logo. So let's go ahead back to our online store and customize our theme and see if this logo fits in the new header. So let's go ahead and click up here in our header and right where it says Thrive, we're gonna go ahead and replace that with our new image. On the right side under header and desktop logo position, let's go ahead and click theme settings. And then right here, we can just drag and drop our brand new logo. 
And I think that font and that logo looks way better. Now we can adjust the size by changing desktop logo width right here. We can make it a little bit bigger if we want, a little bit smaller. And something that I may want to play with too is the color. I made this one in white, not thinking that all of the text on the page is black. So I'm just going to quickly go into Photoshop and recolor this to black. So let's remove that image and go ahead and try our black logo and see if that looks better. Yeah, and I think that just hits a little bit better in black. Maybe we could change all the text on the page to white, but again, that's something that comes down to your own personal taste and whatever you like, but I think this looks great. So for the last thing is we are going to want to come up with a quick little favicon image. Again, I think what would be really quick and easy is just come up with a single letter for your store. As you'll see up here for the 17 track, they just have a little 17. So if we come up with just a little T, I think that would work just well, and luckily enough, we already have the T so I'm going to pop back into Photoshop and just crop it out so that all that we have is the T and see how that looks. So if I go ahead and drag and drop our little favicon right here to preview it we're going to have to go ahead and click save and then when we refresh our website we should get a little preview of what it looks like. So let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see, we now have the little T logo up there. Again, not my favorite design, but we are just going to be testing products and we just need something that works, something that looks professional, but doesn't have to be too overthought out. These are things we can refine as we continue developing our store. And once we see that our product can drive some sales. Now, while we have been doing most of our customization, focusing on desktop, one really important thing is to make sure you switch over to this mobile view and make sure everything looks good on mobile. Most people who visit our store are going to be coming on a mobile device. Device. So I think it's most important that from here on out, we continue developing our store with mobile first in mind. Secondary would be the desktop version. And just like that, we have a Shopify store that is just about ready to go. The last thing we're going to have to do is edit our product page. And this is going to take a lot of really fine detail to make sure that we explain what our product is and make it look as good as possible to drive as many sales as we can. And since that is such a detailed process, I want to make sure we dive really deep into it. So we're going to save that for the next video. So hopefully you were able to follow along long and now have your very first Shopify store created and just about ready to launch. Let me know if you have any questions about things that we covered in this video. And if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next video, which will be the product page design. Can't wait to see you there.